Hi friends, welcome to the part 4 of this tutorial series. In this part, we will be working on the to-do controller and we'll create our first route for uh, getting all the to-dos. And before that, we will set up the type ORM. So I have the command here in, the, in my notepad. I'll copy it and go to my terminal and simply paste it. So this will install MySQL type ORM and the NestJS type ORM library. So give it a minute to finish. And we'll also set up the type ORM module in our application so that we can communicate with our backend. So while it's working, in the meantime, let me show you my database. I, I have my MySQL running and I'm using dweaver to view it. And this is my new database by the name of NestJS. And as you can see, it has got no tables because I don't want to create tables manually. I will be doing it through code. Okay, so I will use the code first approach here. So let me minimize this application here. Okay, so all the tools were installed and there are no vulnerabilities. So I can run the <coughs> uh, dev server npm run uh, i think it should be here npm run start dev there you go okay so it's compiling the code now and we don't have any errors okay so let's first configure the type ORM module so the ideal way uh, to configure this if you go here right and uh, go to the using orm config.json it says you can create a json file in the project root and type in all the parameters there okay but i'll keep it simple i will simply go here in my app module and here i'll and in the imports array so, so any module that you have should be a part of the imports array so you put a comma here and type type ORM module comma or dot sorry for root because this is my root module I will use the for root method here and this is actually asking for options which is of type type ORM module options so you can define it directly uh, within the square brackets or curly brackets here but let's do it in a neat fashion so i'll create a variable here orm options of type orm module options okay and i'm using i'm defining this type because uh, it will help me uh, it will help my id to help me with uh, uh, intelligence okay so the first thing i need is the host this is my local host next i need my uh port okay that's 3306 for mysql and on top i need a type the so type is mysql okay and it has got a lot of options if you just hit control space you can see all the options available here okay mongodb mariadb i'll choose mysql and next i need the username in my case i kept it as root the password i kept it as one two three four five six this is of course not a strong one this is just for the tutorial do not ever use any weak password uh, in your production deployment okay we have host port uh, username then what we have database and my database name as you saw is nest js so nest js uh, i'll use auto load entities to true so this is again not recommended for the production uh, deployment make sure you don't use it for production and i'll auto synchronize it as well okay uh, there we go now in the options I can simply type ORM options, okay, like that. And this is configured now. If you go back to the terminal, you'll see 
well, there are no errors okay perfect let's close this module i'm gonna minimize this as well let's focus on the to do controller so when you create any new controller or any service using the cli you get some boilerplate code here like like as you can see on the screen so this is known as a decorator so it has got some code running in the back end which tells uh, nestjs that that this this class is a type of controller okay and controller has got some functionalities so the prefix here tells the controller what is the uh, path or endpoint it's pointing to so i can put any name here like abc so my route will be http localhost 3000 slash abc okay but to give it a more uh, more a meaningful name i'll put to do's here okay so it will be like to do's and if you want to put uh, something like API in front of to-dos, you can also put it here like, like this. But if you want to add API globally to your entire project, then what you can do, you can simply go to your main.ts file. And just after your app module, you can simply type app.use global or prefix, set global prefix. Yeah type api and now we don't need to type api here it will simply work like this so inside this controller okay so <clears throat> what i can do i can simply use the get decorator it's again imported from nest.js common package so this is the http verb okay so this is the http get verb okay and just beneath it you need to give a function name so i'll say get all to do's you can name it anything you want but just make sure you give it a meaningful name so that you can identify what this function is doing and at this moment i'm simply returning an array of strings so to do one then to do two that's it okay and it's complaining because i'm using double quotes so let's remove it <clears throat> and to test this functionality we will not be using browser so going on going forward we will be using postman so this is my postman client and I, i'll create a new tab here it's, and you see it's a get request it's, a, it's the same get verb that we used here okay and if you do not give enter anything here in the path so this will be the same path as your parent here okay so this is the default path now if i go here and make sure your server is running with no errors simply type http not s localhost 3000 slash api slash to do's because we have api as the global prefix and hit send i get a list of an, an array of to do's here pretty nice harry right? and pretty cool here but the best thing is that we don't want to overpopulate or overburden our controller here it's not the job of controller to have all these things here so it's our job to of job of the service to return this list of to do so how do we do that so if you have ever worked with angular uh, in in your uh, I mean in the past you must be knowing that you can inject services so we have a service here to do service which we created in our last video and this is again a, a decorator which says injectable and this service is inject uh, injectable to other components okay now here i'm gonna you know, define a function get all to do's okay and gonna copy the same code from here and paste it here okay nothing fancy so i'll remove it from here and the way you inject a service 
in a controller is by using the constructor so you give it a name any name you want like i will choose the to do service name and give it a type this will be of type to do service so make sure you import this from the to do service file and uh, so you're seeing uh, there is a small squiggly underline here that means it's saying something is wrong so if you just go here oops i collapsed it and right click show context action it says create a field to do service or create field to do service okay so if you do this so, so this will create a, a local variable here so you for this to work you need to define to do service here okay so you're, you're storing this to do service into this local variable but to prevent this lengthy process what you can do we can simply put the accessor uh, field here which is private or public so in the in the back end what nest.js will do it will create a local variable here in the memory and will assign it to this to do service so this saves a lot of time and this is the recommended way actually so now simply need to go to the get all to do's and type uh, console log this dot to do service dot get all to do's so, so if i save it now and i go to my console not and uh, nothing is here because i have not requested using the postman you will not see anything here because i'm not returning it to the front end but to the console so i go back to the uh, terminal i see the result here if you want to return it to the front end simply remove this console lock let me comment that out and i'll simply type return this dot to do service dot get all to do's that's it save it go back to postman we are back to square one so this is the recommended way and for in postman i'm gonna save this request let's say i'll give it a name get all to do's in a new collection and name in a collection uh, to do maker okay so save to to do maker so i will have this here handy all the time so i hope uh, you like this and uh, in the next video we will add some more routes here and uh, we will see some more verbs from http package i believe uh, and we'll see how we can uh, query our database in the back end okay so please uh, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have any questions please put those in the comment section below and you will find the code here till here in the description of this video uh, that will point to my github link make sure you go there and fork it or maybe clone it if you want and try it yourself so i'll see you in the next video till then take care and stay safe bye bye